Hello everybody, it's OG again. And as usual, I have a mission for us. And this time, I can't really claim to have made up the mission, because I didn't. It's the second weekly mission. The one as specified by the game, the first one I achieved to land on the moon, even if I didn't do it on my first attempt. But I did get there. And then the new one is uh, air launch to orbit. Yes. So I have built a craft which I think might be able to do the air launch to orbit if the Kraken allows it. Here is my craft and as you'll see it's a double craft. There's the big plane at the bottom and then I thought of putting something in the cargo bay but then I didn't know if it would fit and then I came up with a couple of other plans and now it's not in the cargo bay anymore. So it's parking up top there and I hope it'll separate and I hope I'll be able to change to it in time and get the rockets going and I hope it doesn't fall off and I hope it's attached by both those nodes which it definitely is not. There's only one way I'm going to find these things out. I'm going to test it. And my sole objective is to get this thing into orbit using this thing at the bottom. Let's go and see what happens. Okay, we're on the runway and the rocket has fallen off. Sort of, sort of fallen off. We can at least test the engines. Who knows? Maybe the rocket will stay on there. <laughs> There's no chance it's staying on there. And the camera is still a problem. Come on, camera. Work, work with me here. Just work with me, camera. Camera. Uh, camera modes. Camera modes. Ha. Oh, oh, this isn't good. Take off, take off. No, not you, rocket, rocket, don't, rocket. If I can get into the air and then fire the rocket. Wait, 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 fire the rocket, rocket, rocket. Get, give me the rocket, rocket. No, why can't I leave the active? No, I I need my rocket. R no, rocket. Oh boy. Yeah, I do have a huge rocket hidden in the back here. How cool is that? <laughs> Woohoo! But. It's all for nothing if my rocket's gone. Oh wow, I'm missing a significant piece of tail. Okay. Uh, I think I need to call it quits for this one. I guess a little bit of redesigning is called for. Okay, let's try this again.
Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. I've lost an engine. I'm not going to let that trouble me. <laughs> Wait, let's get the cameras right. What is going on now? Come on, let me see the camera view. Well, that'll do. Oh, there we go. My bad. Oh, I've also lost a wheel. Oh, come on! I'm still ready to play this. I, I, I want to give this a bash. Mm. For the record, I was fully ready to take off there with only three of my landing gear, what do you call those, clusters intact and with an engine missing. Come on, don't, don't break too much, just break a little bit. What, what now? Why is my vessel destroyed? Okay, let me move the engines around a bit, then maybe it'll play nicely. Attempt number three. Okay, the rocket's bouncing a little, but it's good. Hasn't fallen off. What is the time in game? It's dark. I want it to be lighter. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, that'll do. That that's brilliant delight. I can't complain about lightness. Oh say a prayer for Camfred Kerman. Fun story, I handpicked him because he looked like the craziest one. Wait till the thrust gets up, then we release the brakes. Okay, let's go. The frame rate is not happy. So what's new? This is really jerky. The physics gods are not happy. Another fun fact, I have no steering on the wheels of this plane. It's all up to the rudder, which is hidden behind these trusses. Looks like she wants to fly. I didn't do that. It took off by itself. Gear up. We're in the air. Is the gear going up? 
It is, it is. I'm getting about three frames per second, that's better than I often get in KSP1. She's climbing beautifully. I cannot complain about this, apart from the frame rate. So all I want now is altitude. And then I hope and pray it lets me change control to my rocket if and when they separate. I always get suspicious when things are going too smoothly. Right, I'm just going to let this thing climb as much as it can. Well, at least while it has a good rate of climb. Then I'm going to fire the uh, huge rocket engine in the back of this plane to get us even higher. And then I'm going to try to detach. This atmosphere looks too terrible at certain altitudes. I really hope they fix that soon. All these lines are hideous. Really, this is such a beautiful game already, apart from these interlaced clouds. And of course the frame rate. I hope I'm not destroying anyone too important. There might be Kerbals in there, I don't know. Put it this way, in KSP1, my little core team of Kerbals would always die fast. I'd never have them available. Wow, it's taken us this long to reach the closest landing strip. This thing is slow. I would blame the frame rate, but everything seems to be moving along at the right pace. If you look at the instruments, I don't think the game is running slow. Which is good, because when KSP1 slowed down, everything slowed down. So I don't really know what I want for a launch altitude. In KSP1 
an aircraft like this might get to, I don't know, 13,000, 15,000 meters. But this one does have a lot of engines and it has a huge rocket in the back. And it's still climbing, so that's good. I'm just going to ride it up until it's not really gaining much height anymore. Provided that there is still liquid fuel available. Because the rocket is going to need the same liquid fuel. And I really want to use that rocket to get the last bit of good altitude. I don't think I'll run more than halfway on conventional engines in terms of the liquid fuel. I'd rather save that for the rocket. It would be nice to have an air density display. Is this thing draining my... Is this thing draining my tanks in my top rocket? No! Don't you dare! No! What does that do? I have to fill my top rocket. What is happening? Oh, uh, okay. Wait, I think I see how this works. Okay, so I should have stopped cross flow somewhere along the line. I should have set up a training priority or something like that. I'm just scared they get drained again. Here they are. So I think I'll just leave that pumping. Okay, I can't. I'm going to try this rocket. Let's light this candle and see what happens. Whoosh! Oh boy! Oh, that's not good. Okay, detach. Alright, we've detached. Now I've got to jump. Okay, how do I get out of here? I can't leave the active vessel. Uh, do something. Bail out. I still can't leave the active vessel. Let go. Come on, let me leave the vessel. 
Help. I don't even know which one's which. Uh, control. Can't leave. Can't. Why can't I leave my active vessel? How am I supposed to pass this mission if I can't do this? Stop it! No! <laughs> I don't want to be stuck with this stupid Kerbal! I want my rocket! I don't even know where it is! Give me my rocket! Uh, tracking station. What have I got? Really? I can fly an old rocket that's in orbit or my Kerbal. What if I destroy him? Well, that's a little bit dark, but... Okay, hang on. That gives me an idea. Quick load. What if I separate from my rocket and then I destroy the plane? Ooh, the noises the no oh boy did you hear that 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 was full on ksp1 where it explodes before it loads in shall we try it again please work please work no, no, those are destruction noises. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, I guess I need to accept that this is not going to work. I guess it's back to the drawing board for me. Perhaps I'll go and look at how some of the other YouTubers are doing. <laughs> look for a few tips ways to separate this rocket ways to gain control of the rocket I definitely need to learn that uh, yeah but that's early access for you another day in KSB2 thank you for joining me on the journey sorry we did not reach space this time perhaps next time OG out.